Tutorial on using the V5 engraver with the ARA Pro Max. Pay attention to the placement direction. Make sure the cable port is positioned on the left. First, connect the roller's port cable. Turn on the power switch of V5. Then connect the cable to the machine accessory interface port. Note, make sure to turn on the V5 power supply before connecting the port cable. Finally, connect the computer data cable. Open the SGD laser software and connect to the V5 device. It indicates a successful connection if the USB icon in the top right corner is blue. Secure the cup to be engraved onto the holder. Install the tailstock assembly as well. Finally, tighten the clamp and tailstock assembly. Move the clamp to the center of the laser. Align the laser spot to the exact center of the cup. Measure the distance from the ARA Pro Max to the edge of the V5 machine. Make sure the distances on both sides are the same. This ensures the x-axis of the ARA Pro Max is parallel to the V5's x-axis. Since we are using the 150mm field lens, switch on the 150mm field lens focusing button. Place a sheet of paper on the cup to facilitate focusing. Press the up or down button to adjust the laser module height for focusing. When the two red light points overlap, the focusing is complete. Before engraving, it is necessary to set up the required parameters. Open the menu and select device information. Disable all other accessory functions except the gripper. Since we use the 150mm field lens here, the 70mm field lens option must also be disabled. Set the marking mode to gripper marking. Next, measure the diameter of the cup. It is approximately 84 millimeters. Enter 84 in the diameter field. Import the engraving image. Convert the image into a vector file. Check and open the fill panel. For line spacing, a value between 0.01 mm and 0.03 mm is recommended. Make sure to rotate the image by 90 degrees. Finally, click Preview. If the laser focus is difficult to see clearly, you can place a damp piece of paper on the surface of the cup. To make it easier to observe, scale down the image. Click Center. Preview again. Once the position is confirmed to be correct, remove the damp paper, enter the engraving parameters, pulse width 5, speed 200, frequency 30. It is recommended to check select marking. Finally, start engraving. Next, remove the clamp and install the roller attachment. Position the roller attachment at the center of the laser spot. Measure the distance from the roller to the edge of the V5 machine. Make sure the distances on both sides are the same. Place the wine glass to be engraved onto the roller. Use the dual wheel bracket to support it. Adjust the position of the wine glass so that the laser spot falls on the center or the highest point of the wine glass surface. Attach a damp piece of paper to the cup surface. 
Press the up or down button to adjust the laser module height for focusing. When the two red light points overlap, the focusing is complete. Open the menu and select device information. Disable gripper and enable roller. Set the marking mode to roller marking. Import the engraving image. Convert the image into a vector file. Open the fill panel. For line spacing, a value between 0.01 millimeters and 0.03 millimeters is recommended. Measure the diameter of the wine glass. It is approximately 56 millimeters. Enter 56 in the diameter field. Rotate the image by 90 degrees. Scale the image to an appropriate size. Center it, and then start the preview. Once the position is confirmed to be correct, remove the damp paper, enter the engraving parameters, pulse width, 1, speed, 400, frequency, 30. It is recommended to check select marking. Finally, start marking.